You pat yourself on the It's a brilliant mind, guys. A brilliant a brilliant mind. It's a brilliant mind. People will see me and like look, there's times where I walk by like math equations at a school. Yeah, no, no, just, and there's this, nothing. There's, it's not goodwill hunting. There's no answers on the board. This is this and is I not, just. This is not good. Get to the. Get back to the spoke. It's crazy. Station. Get back. It's crazy. Please. It's a gift. <laughs> it's a gift. Get off my hand. My love. Episode. Wolf Tick Nation. Thank you guys for tuning in to another Wolf Tick Videos episode. On today's episode... No, uh, just on today's episode. That's all I gotta say. On today's episode. Any of you that watch the channel regularly, remember this. Everybody was upset, you know? Um, not one person, and this is the only reason I'm doing this, okay? Well, there's two reasons. One, uh, our boy old Chuck U, baby, he sent some tools. Uh, one of them was the bicycle spoke tensionometer, tensionometer which we're going to be using on today's episode. You guys should check out the links in the description below for a fill in for that. Uh, I still don't have any faith in this. Episode one. Uh, reason number one. Reason number two is not one person said, dude, just take it to a bike shop. Not one person said that. Oh, I think some did. Maybe some did. I but, answered a few. I think they had said that I read some. Uh, so we're going to be trying to fix this and get it true today. We're going to kind of show you a little ins and outs. We'll cut it up. It's so not it's not going to be the entire episode is going to be this. Also, on today's episode, not only are we going to be true in that will for the san quentin three uh we are like also going to be doing a little bit of everybody's favorite segment a little bit of mail time uh guys patrons got to see the mail time already and uh they are super excited because we've got some more um stuff to add to wolfman's e-bike oh yeah. that's right yeah it's gonna be awesome do. make sure you guys turn those notifications on especially well, on. after you get them watching the mail time. yeah the mail time's not till we're not supposed to be talking about like it already happened it done happened all right Hopefully there's nothing back here that you guys see. I know. Uh, anyway, Easter guys, eggs. so uh, please hit that oh, like button. Oh, fitting Easter eggs. Oh, no. Okay, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button because we're fixing to true us a wheel. I think. All right, guys, check it out. This right here is how this is supposed to be, right? It's supposed to be nice and centered up. And then you uh, get that wheel. You spin it. And Are you telling them or are you just... Oh, I'm just. Tell I mean, what you think. It's, well, this is what I know. It's supposed to be straight. And now check it out. Are you ready? I don't know if you're ready for this. Woo! Dude, is that bad or what? Well, there's stuff sticking up all through that damn rim. It's, it's not even remotely close. This is the issue that I face, okay? Not only Wolfman over there, but this is the other issue I well, face. Wolfman's the word of wise. Do you see this over here? Look at this nipple. This one right here is all jacked up. It will not. Pull through We're a little here. Early in this episode for all the nipple talk. Yeah, it will not pull through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my um, spoke tool wrench here, and I'm going to uh, loosen every single one of these, and we're going to do a restart Jones on it. Oh, yeah. A restart Jones. You don't even strip anything, are you? Am I going to strip anything? I'm just going to do a restart, restart Jones. Jones. McGillicuddy. And what I mean by that is I'm not going to. Uh, when I say restart, I'm not going to. Um, take them all out of the threads because they are threaded. So um, the cool thing, you know, is actually I remember phoning, well, calling in on a helpline and saying, Chuck, you give me a call. Homeboy gave me a call the next day. Uh, so he was like, he listen, Jeremiah. He's like, just take your time. He says, uh, a lot of people say do the star method. And you can you can tell me if I'm wrong. He said a lot of people do the star method where, just, they, where they try to go across, but you start getting caught with so many spokes and you start getting lost. So he said, go in order and... And, um, tighten them up slowly and just go around in a circle you know don't put too much into it and just keep on tightening and as you go and be gentle with it and he's like it should just start straightening itself out so Chuck you uh, that's your fault if it doesn't work whoa all right everything is nice and loose um, the nipple that is having a hard time pulling back through the little eyelet is still having issues it looks like I'm gonna have to go through the back side and actually try to tighten it from there which I just don't think is going to um, pull it all the way through. So I, I am worried about that. You see how loose they are. And it's like it does not want to go through the eyelet. This is such a tedious job. I'm going to have to get some needle nose here and pull it out. Or see if I can actually push it in. Because the back is all chewed up. The front's not, but the back is. That one spoke is really bothering the crap out of me. Because the nipple's not even sticking through the eyelet like all the other ones are. 
So that right there alone just really bothers me. And the problem, I think I might have some more nipples, but they're not the same design. So I think it might be this nipple, but I'm going to show you guys this thing and just show you how twecked it is. And I don't think it's an issue with the rim. But, I mean, look at the look at the nipple here. And look how bad the back is, because these are aluminum. Look how bad that back is. I can't even get a hold of it, you know? And that right there is just not going through the eyelet for some weird reason. So I'm thinking maybe it's just too much tension on it or something like that. Or maybe not enough. But if I... See, if I pull it through, then it kind of acts like it wants to start. But we're going to see if we can re-thread this one. And see if it makes a difference if I actually tighten this. Because that's the one that's off the most. See, it just does not even want to go, start going through the eyelet. So something's wrong with it. Oh, I know what I did. What'd you do? I know what I did. Oh, okay. What'd you do? I know what I did, guys. I messed up. Okay. Damn, I messed up. I messed up. Okay, you guys are probably all laughing, man. If you guys know how to true will. This end is supposed to go that way through the damn eyelet. And the spoke end that's threaded goes here and not here. I've been trying to use this little short. You believe that? I've been trying to use this. And not that. They're all facing the correct way. That's why it won't go through. That's why it's so twit. I mean, look how much straighter it is without any tension on that. Yeah, it's it's already better. It's already better. That's the problem. I put this in go. backwards. You? I gotta see if I have another nipple because this one's destroyed. All right. Nipple correction. All right, guys. Nipple correction. These are spokes that came with... Uh, do you guys remember when we got that Bucklos, Will Set Bucklos sent us? Right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not going to use a complete different spoke on there, are you? No, I can't. Because this is a 27.5. The yeah. ones that Bucklos sent us were actually 26. So you can see how much shorter those are, right? I can't yeah. use the spoke, but... I don't know how they stayed in that box. It actually came with two nipples. This is the type of tool that... Uh, well, Chuck, you sent us. Well, this is the tool. Right here, it goes directly into there, like so. And that's how that works. Look at how easy that would be if all those had the squ the flat heads on there. But that guy right there is going to get the job done. Um, it's just going to be a little bit shorter on the base. But that's okay because this is going to work as far as the spokes concerned. That right there is cool, man. So, man, is that the biggest issue? Was that the, was that the number one concern? That's crazy if that's going to work. If well, that's why it's so wonky, I, I'm, is what I'm I mean. I'm hoping that that starts off a series of events that help. I mean, look, guys, I'm not a professional, right? But you don't have to tell them that. I'm not a professional, but what I'm gonna say? Oh my gosh, I wish I had this tool soon. That's pretty good, given however many spokes there are, how many nipples I had to add, and all those pieces late at night. You know, all the excuses are coming out now. That's pretty damn good if I just messed one of them up. Are, are you patting yourself on the back again? I am. I mean, if I just messed Do one up. Do you ever get tired of patting yourself on the back? No, I don't get enough pats on the back. <laughs> You're constantly patting yourself on the well, back. I know, myself. Who else pats me on the back? Uh, whenever you deserve it, I do. But it's just the problem is you have to earn that one. Okay, we're going to we're gonna tighten this up to where it goes to the tips of the threads. Just, just the, the tip? tip. We're not related. Actually, I'm gonna go to where there's, I'm gonna go to where there's a little bit of tension. Oh, wow. this is what I did. Okay, I replaced the nipple. I have now tightened every one of the nipples just enough to where you could barely see a little bit of thread. We're not done with this process yet. But I want to show you guys this. Whoa! Watch. Much better. I mean, look, that's crazy how much straighter that is. It's a heck of a lot better. I haven't even started tightening it down yet, and that is like, boo, like mind-blowing how much better it is. Holy crap. All right, I'm excited. Um, I'm going to get back at this, all right? Um, hit that like button, guys. Remember, we got some mail time coming up. Guys, check this out. I, I have to say... That's pretty damn straight. I mean, that's, it's, that's, pretty, that's pretty decent, I have to say. Bringing it back from where it was at, that's pretty decent. That's pretty damn straight. That right there, finding the uh, mess up with the nipple, definitely a big deal. That's pretty damn good. Every now and then you catch a little weirdness. Bringing so, it back from where it was at. That's, oh, oh my gosh, yeah, that was impressive. Um, 
Okay, the good thing there's a book on this thing. Now this is a tensionometer. Measurements the absolute tension of each of the spokes in a wheel bicycle spoke tension meters are suitable for the measurement of all spokes on the market. In order to measure the tension value, it includes steel spokes, flat spokes, aluminum spokes, blah, 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 blah. I need to watch it at 75%. Okay, now. All right, so let's see if there's a spoke tensioner. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> all right. Let's see. <laughs> oh, there's another page. Great. Let's see. I think there's a bat, too. Oh, please, no. Uh, 1.9. 1.8 says it should be for the millimeter size. That's Chinese. Is that a, is that many spokes? How many spokes? All right, guys. I can't make heads or tails of this. Like, I really can't. If I put this tensiometer here and here, and I let go, that one reads 12. Okay? I'll go to uh, opposite side. And that one reads 25. Let me go to the next one. That one reads 16. So obviously they're all different. That one reads 23. Does it say what that's measuring? Uh-uh, it doesn't have anything. Let me go to the rear wheel and We're... just see what the rear wheel or the front wheel is. Hold the tension. The wheel out the here, the front wheel for the bike, they're 20. They're measured at 20 on the mm -hmm. tension. All right, guys, I'm going to pull these at 20, and we'll see what happens. Right. We'll see if it's still straight afterwards. All right, guys, I have gone all the way around this rim. Every spoke but this one is 20 millimeters. I want to do this last one. This one here. Not 20 millimeters. Uh, 20 whatever. whatever. <laughs> uh, 20, 20 whatever. whatever that is. I'm really worried, and I haven't tried this out yet. I'm just very worried that doing all this is messed it up. Is messed it up. See if it messed with the tension of any other ones. They're all 20. Okay, so we're fixing to see. Uh, but honestly, after fixing that spoke, it really wasn't that bad. I just had to take my time, and, and it was tedious. But let's look at it now. I'm, I'm, I'm anxious. All right. Not bad. Look okay. at that. They're all 20. Oh, damn. That's a lot straighter than I thought it was. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. From here. Oh, yeah, see what it is with that on there. From here, it looks pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. A little bit. You can probably fine tune that. I can fine tune that, no problem. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. No, I can fine tune that, no problem. I'm going to fine tune that, and I think we'll call that an episode. Well, we've still got mail time to come, but. During mail time, I'll be messing with this. Don't worry. Um, I think that is finally a success. Oh, my gosh. It feels good. And what feels really good, too, Chuck, you. Thank you for right, sending. So you've, met, you've reached your limit. I know. Hey, man, thank you for sending the tensionometer. I don't know how the hell to read that graph. But what I do know is that it feels good about it until, you know, until I start doing a little fine-tuning. Every spoke on here is tuned um, or is tensioned properly. Tensioned, thank you. Yeah, definitely tensioned. It's not at least hard. they're all the same. They're all the same as the front wheel, so nobody can talk crap on me, right? But uh, I feel very good about that. But all right, man, we got it tensioned out. Now let's do a little bit of everybody's favorite segment. Let's go over and do some mail time. All right, guys, let's get after it. Success! Yeah, don't make me slap you. Dude, what are you acting You're little, for? Why are you in my face? <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, hey, Wolfman's about to get handsy with your boy. <laughs> all right, guys, hey, let's, do, let's break into everybody's favorite segment a little bit of... A little That's bit of mail time. Hey, before we start this mail time, guys, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn the notifications on because there may be some mail in here that you don't want to miss whenever we do an install, possibly, okay? But before we get started, I want to give I want to give a big old shout out to our boy, our patron, old Stinky Gringo, oh, old Wes Graves himself, right. Spider Mountain Boy, yeah. 20 cups of coffee. Yeah, thank you. Damn. Yeah. Woo. Wes Graves, that's hell of a yeah. shout out, homie. All right. Thank you so much, man, for being a patron stinky. and for the 20 cups of coffee. Stanky Gringo. Beep, 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 beep. Here we go. I think I know what that one is. Well, it's got your name on it. <laughs> well, yeah, but don't this really. one here is from oh, John. So we've had it a while. This is from John. Oh, it's a headset. Yeah, headset. The one that people have been waiting for us to get. Oh, on. this is it. Should be. Oh, okay. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. This right here is a it's a 44 to 44 headset, but it actually is an adapter for a straight head tube that will fit a tapered fork. And the reason we wanted to order this, not only for the Royce Union, maybe we'll be doing some upgrades to it here soon this riding season, but 
This was $17. $17. $17. And we needed to do a 2024. I'm going to let you do a headset video with that. Have a headset episode. Okay. Because they, we still, one of our more popular older episodes that gets still gets a couple hundred views a month is the one where we converted to... Uh, um, the Cheech. Bolinas, yeah, oh, Project you know, Cheech Bolinas. So I think we thought we needed to do a redo, and plus when we did that one, we didn't show us trim the thing and all that stuff. And so yeah, I so 17, 17 bucks for a 44 yeah, to 44 budget. tapered adapter. That's That awesome. one wasn't super budget either. This one is. Shove in our P.O. box today. It doesn't have a from on it. No, hopefully there's a note, a notage as you like to say. Oh! What in the world? They came to the... They came to the P.O. box? Dude, this is glucosamine chondroitin. Yes. Uh, these are gummies. All right. Did you order these? Yeah, we, yeah me and your... Well, Grandma bought them for us. So you well, Grandma, thank, Grandma. thank you so much. Guys, yeah, uh, we She gave are, Abel the money. He we are, ordered it. We're very big on glucosamine chondroitin here at the Wolf Tick Videos household. Great for joints. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, next piece of mail. See what we got Be here. Careful. Something to help protect the new e-bike from Big Brother Kevin oh. H. Oh. Big Brother Kevin H. Something to protect the e-bike. Oh. We protect him. Hey, Ooh. it's a chain stay pad. Okay, good. All right. I wanted, I, yeah. This I, guy and his e-bike. Yeah, because I'm a little bit protective. Huh? Oh, that's nice. Big Brother Kevin H., thank you. Yeah, all right. Dude, thank this guy is like, son, we need to put something around there. We need to put something. Son, uh, well, son, I, I don't want to scratch it. Son, I ain't going to I ain't gonna ditch this thing and scratch it. I will break my ankle before I do. Well, <laughs> the other day, I, I didn't want to ditch it on that deal. and yeah. Big Brother Kevin H., thank you so much for the chain stay protector. I'm sure Wolfman's appreciative of that. Yes, thank you. I, I'm looking forward to putting on it. This here, I know who it's from. It's Dude. from our uh, coffee supporter, one of our patrons. Oh, Wes Graves, old Stinky Gringo himself. Now, Stinky Gringo was talking about this possibly going on Project Dan Marino. Okay. And I think we all know what it is. My grandma goes, hun, what is that? Oh, yeah. I said, grandma, that's a handlebar. She goes, how do you know it's a handlebar? I said, because look at the box. I'm a professional. She, doesn't, she don't know that. This is what I do. That's got plenty of pad on it. I think I can work you with that. You can't. You can't. You can't do that yet. Oh. 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 Uh oh. Uh -oh. We both saw something. Uh oh. Pull that out. Oh Ooh. yeah. Ooh. Dude. Oh, that is awesome. Look at that purple bar. Yeah, Wes Graves, you nailed it. This is going on there, and it's going to match with the seat and all the other little purple accents. Lungy. Oh. That was noted. See? Yeah. I knew I heard something. Not cool. sure on the color plans from Reno, but thought this bar was pretty sick, so I wanted to send along from Wesley Graves. Dude, it hey, thank you. Okay. It's going on yes. the bar. It's going on the bar. Hey, so you guys know we save all these notes, by the way. Is we that, save all these. Kind of like going on the bike? Yeah. Oh, yeah, going on the bike. Yeah. All right. Now, this one I here, for that one. I have an idea. You had a sign for it? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good sign. Here, is that a good that. sign? Yeah, because I think I know what it is. Oh, good Lord. Oh, yeah. notage. Okay, you notage. hold that box. Uh, All right, we got some notage. Now, if it says anything secret about what's in the box, I'm going to keep the, the secrets. Jeremiah, this is the also bougie. <laughs> this is the bougie blank for the new e-bike. The seat is also for the e-bike as well. The women's version has a shorter nose that doesn't catch the shorts when riding. Hopefully these will help make John more comfortable on the bike. Big brother Kevin H and big sister Brande. Oh, 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 it's bougie. Bougie. Oh man, wolf fan. Bougie. Oh dude. The heck? Whoa, is it? This is an electric dropper. No, it's, it's not. It's an electric dropper no, post. it's not. It's an electric dropper post for your e-bike. Oh, good lord. Magura. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. Is that going to fit? Dude. Oh, yeah. We already sent measurements and all that. We've been secretive about that. You hold that. How about that for a lever? Whoa. Dude. That's a trip. Oh, man. An ergon seat. Ooh. Oh, buddy. Man. Dude. Pain-free riding. Pain-free riding. Well. It's an ergon seat, guys. Wow. That is sick. Oh, my gosh. We have to install this sucker quick, man. 
You're gonna ask Quick. Game Changer. Game well, Changer. That's another episode right Hell there. Hell yeah. Dude, Big Brother Kevin H. Big Sister Brenda. I'm to roll that puppy in soon. I know, because we're riding this weekend. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Thank you guys so much. All right, guys. Next piece of mail. Now, before we Don't, open this thing right here. Don't you the knife, by the way. Oh, I am. No, you're not. This is the Kulka paddleboard. It's a 10 foot 6 inch Explore paddleboard with carbon fiber paddles. It's Kulka. Kulka. Mm -hmm. 10 foot 6 inches, $339. Kulka sent us this, and I said, man, this is going to be so much fun this summer. We got paddleboard season coming up. You know us, we're all about camping. I don't in the know. Lake. I mean, is there a paddleboard season? Yeah, this is it. <laughs> this is it right now. We've never paddleboarded. This is three. It's got three layers of PVC, mm -hmm. all right? This thing has a maximum payload of 435 pounds. It can hold three people. You can do yoga on this thing. 400 what? 35 pounds. So that's, yeah, one and a half people. One and a half so people. Two people. 33 so, inches wide deck. Uh, supposed to have an ankle strap on it. Again, it comes with a paddleboard, and it supposedly comes with a backpack that's got wheels on it so you can carry it. It's like 40 pounds, dual pump action. This thing takes three to seven minutes to inflate. Thank you. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Look at that. Oh wow. Cool, cool. You guys can go to their website and check this out. Again, it's $339. It's going to be a whole bunch of fun. I don't think then. you're going to be able to do a review on it, but we'll definitely show you using it. Yeah, it's got the premium turn You can tell bag. people if you like it or not. Yeah, I'd love to tell you guys if you if I like You've it You've never paddleboarded. No, I've never paddleboarded. It's supposed to be a really good You've exercise. you always wanted to try it. Yeah, man. Um, you yeah. should tell them this stuff. You've always wanted to try it. Dude, I've always wanted to paddleboard. It's supposed to be a really good core workout. Yeah, this is a bike channel, and I was like, as soon as they emailed, I was like, yeah, I want to, I want to try it. <laughs> it's a bike channel. Yeah. I want to try it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, heck yeah, man. Well, cool. Cup. I don't know how many people watch our channels into this. Yeah. All right, guys. Hey, for bike Wolf cars. Tick Nation, appreciate you guys watching as always. Wes Graves, thank you for the cups of coffee. Yes. Big thank sister you. Brandy, big brother Kevin H. Thank you yes. guys for sending some mail. That was awesome. Thank you. That's gonna be well. We're gonna have a whole episode yeah, on installing that and stuff. You guys probably. Well, yeah. Probably throw it on there, then film us out riding, and I could talk about put that all in one. Yeah, that'd be cool. But uh, guys, we will see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Yeah. yeah.